The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing is a book written by Al Rise and Jack Trout that offers a set of principles for developing and executing successful marketing strategies. The book outlines 22 laws that are intended to be timeless and universal, and provides practical advice for how to apply these laws in a variety of marketing contexts. The first law, the law of leadership, states that it is better to be first in a category than to be better. According to Rise and Trout, being the first entrant in a category allows a company to establish itself as the market leader and set the standards for the industry. The second law, the law of the category, advises companies to create their own category if they cannot be first in an existing one. By creating a new category, a company can differentiate itself from its competitors and become the leader in a space where there is no established competition. The law of the mind, the third law, posits that it is better to be first in the mind of the consumer than to be first in the marketplace. Rise and Trout argue that the most important aspect of marketing is not the product itself, but rather the perception of the product in the mind of the consumer. The fourth law, the law of perception, states that marketing is not a battle of products, but a battle of perceptions. According to Rise and Trout, the way a product is perceived by the consumer is more important than the product itself. The law of focus, the fifth law, emphasizes the importance of owning a word in the mind of the consumer. Rise and Trout argue that the most powerful concept in marketing is the ability to own a word or phrase in the mind of the consumer, as this allows a company to differentiate itself from its competitors and establish itself as the leader in a particular category. The sixth law, the law of exclusivity, states that two companies cannot own the same word in the mind of the consumer. This means that it is important for companies to choose their positioning carefully and to avoid trying to compete directly with established leaders in a category. The law of the ladder, the seventh law, advises companies to consider their position on the ladder of the category they are in when developing their marketing strategy. If a company is trying to climb up the ladder and challenge established leaders in a category, it should adopt a different strategy than if it is trying to hold its position on the ladder. The eighth law, the law of duality, posits that in the long run, every market becomes a two-horse race between the dominant players. This means that it is important for companies to be aware of the competition and to position themselves in a way that allows them to compete effectively. The ninth law, the law of the opposite, states that if a company is shooting for second place, its strategy should be determined by the leader. This means that companies should be aware of the strategies of the market leader and adapt their own strategies accordingly. The tenth law, the law of division, advises companies to be aware of the potential for a category to divide and become two or more categories over time. This can occur due to changes in consumer preferences or technological developments, and companies should be prepared to adapt their strategies as necessary. The eleventh law, the law of perspective, stresses the importance of considering the long-term effects of marketing decisions. Rise and Trout argue that marketing effects often take place over an extended period of time, and it is important for companies to consider the long-term consequences of their actions. The twelfth law, the law of line extension, advises companies to be careful when extending the equity of their brand to new products or categories. Rise and Trout argue that there is often an irresistible pressure to extend a successful brand, but this can be risky if the new product does not align with the core values and positioning of the brand. The thirteenth law, the law of sacrifice, states that in order to get something, a company must be willing to give up something else. This means that companies must be willing to make difficult trade-offs and prioritize their resources in order to achieve their goals. The fourteenth law, the law of attributes, posits that for every attribute, there is an opposite, effective attribute. This means that companies must be aware of the potential consequences of the attributes they choose to emphasize and be prepared to adapt their strategies as necessary. The fifteenth law, the law of candor, advises companies to be honest and transparent when discussing negative aspects of their products or services. Rise and Trout argue that by admitting a negative, companies can actually improve their reputation and build trust with their target market. The sixteenth law, the law of singularity, states that in each situation, only one move will produce substantial results. 
This means that companies must be strategic and focus on the actions that will have the greatest impact on their success. The 17th law, the law of unpredictability, advises companies to be aware of the inherent uncertainty in the market and to be prepared for the unexpected. Rise and Trout argue that it is impossible to predict the future and companies should focus on being agile and adaptable in order to succeed. The 18th law, the law of success, warns companies that success can lead to arrogance, and arrogance can lead to failure. This means that companies should be mindful of their own limitations and be willing to learn and adapt as needed. The 19th law, the law of failure, advises companies to expect and accept failure as a natural part of the business process. Rise and Trout argue that failure can be a valuable learning opportunity and companies should be willing to take risks and experiment in order to innovate and grow. The 20th law, the law of hype, advises companies to be wary of the media and to recognize that the situation is often the opposite of the way it appears in the press. Rise and Trout argue that it is important for companies to do their own research and not rely solely on media coverage when making decisions. The 21st law, the law of acceleration, advises companies to focus on trends rather than fads when developing their marketing strategies. Rise and Trout argue that successful programs are built on long-term trends rather than short-term fads, and companies should focus on identifying and capitalizing on these trends in order to achieve sustained success. Finally, the 22nd law, the law of resources, emphasizes the importance of adequate funding for marketing efforts. Rise and Trout argue that without sufficient resources, even the best ideas will not get off the ground. Overall, the 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing is a valuable resource for marketers looking to develop and execute effective marketing strategies. The book provides a set of timeless principles that can help companies navigate the complexities of the market and achieve long-term success.